I'm Jay Horton. I make movies that make money. This is how. If you want to learn how to make more money with your indie movies, subscribe now. Three men enter, one man leaves. Today we're going to find out which is best, TVOD, SVOD, or AVOD when it comes to streaming distribution. And I'm definitely not saying that you should use only one. Most successful releases use a combination of the three. For the sake of entertainment here, I'm simply picking the one that I think is best in general. So, which is best? Short answer, SVOD. Stick around and I'll let you know why. But first, let's briefly go over what these are. SVOD stands for Subscription-Based Video On Demand. These are platforms where customers pay a subscription rate for unlimited access to the movies on that platform. Netflix is SVOD. HBO Now is SVOD. Amazon Prime is SVOD. You pay a monthly or yearly rate and you watch all you want. This often creates the illusion of watching for free. This psychology will become very important later on. TVOD stands for Transactional Video On Demand. This is when you pay to rent or buy a single movie. iTunes is TVOD. Vudu is TVOD. Amazon has a TVOD option, rent or buy. Most retail platforms have some kind of TVOD option. AVOD stands for Ad-Based Video On Demand. It's free to the consumers. Here, the money comes from ad revenue. Ads will play before, during, and or after your content. YouTube is probably the best known example of this. Although it does have an SVOD and TVOD component to it, YouTube is predominantly AVOD. Then there's the brand new platform causing all this ruckus in the indie world right now called IMDB TV. It's also AVOD. Common consensus used to be that AVOD generally generated lower amounts of revenue than SVOD or TVOD, but that's changed drastically in the last few years. There's many filmmakers and distributors that think AVOD will become the predominant sales earner for indie films over the next few years. Some say it already has. A lot of filmmakers will say that TOVD is the best. Because basically, you take in much more money per view with TVOD than with SVOD or AVOD. And this is absolutely true. The pay rates for TVOD are much, much higher than the rates for either SVOD or AVOD. For example, if you have a movie up on Amazon and it's only available through rental or purchase, you'll make 50% of the net revenue. At the lowest rental rate of 99 cent, you would make 49 cents off of every rental. Through SVOD, you'd only make 12 cents per hour streamed, tops. And depending on your CER, that could be as low as one cent an hour. I'd say that on average, my movies are around five cents an hour on Amazon. But keep in mind, with the new rate changes, 50% of filmmakers will only make one cent an hour there through SVOD. Seems like a no-brainer, right? TVOD all the way. At once in an hour, you'd need around 100 people to watch the entire movie in full to earn the amount you'd get from one rental. That's close to a 100 to 1 ratio. Wow. Seems like TOVD would be the clear winner here. But here's the rub. The general public doesn't take chances renting movies they don't know about. Of course there are exceptions, but in general, they don't. They just don't. And if you haven't pre-built an audience willing to do that for your movie, they most likely won't do it for you either. Here's the cold, hard truth. It's next to impossible to get people to actually pay money to rent and buy your individual indie film when they have so many free options to watch. I have around 20 films that I control in the marketplace, and I've tried TVOD in some form on most. In my experience... TVOD makes 10 times less than SVOD in the long run. If I would premiere a movie on TVOD and it made $100 for a month, if I'd move that same title over to SVOD, it'd make around $1,000 a month. And this is because astronomically more people will watch an indie, will take a chance on an indie if it's SVOD or AVOD, if it appears to be free. Now, all that said, on Amazon with the new rate changes, if a movie of mine drops below a 50% CER and is streaming less than 500,000 minutes a month, I may switch it to TVOD. I mean, at that point, it's pretty much a loss on SVOD anyway, so there's no harm in switching. But my expectations for making any real money on TVOD for those projects are next to nothing. 
Now, I'm not saying that TVOD is worthless. In fact, under certain circumstances, it can absolutely be the way to go. If you've built up a good following for your movie, a loyal following, if you're a master of marketing and social media, if you can sell ice cubes to Eskimos, TVOD might be the best bet for you. I know filmmakers that had a good niche product, built out their target audience, knew how to reach that audience, and cleaned up with TVOD. There's bound to be people watching this that know someone who's done it or have done it themselves. Often, people who have ran successful crowdfunding campaigns will have already built that audience that is willing and waiting to rent or buy that movie, and they'll do very well on TVOD. I've said this many times. Movies are like snowflakes. No two are alike. What works for one doesn't necessarily work for all. So before I said that SVOD was the best option for indie filmmakers, let me qualify that. It's the best option in general right now for most indie films. There are outliers. There are actually a lot of outliers. And this paradigm is shifting so rapidly that by the time you actually watch this video, AVOD could very well be a better option. In some cases, it already is. The whole VOD aspect of this business is one that changes rapidly and affects projects differently. When you're ready to make this decision about your movie, take what I've said into account, but don't just listen to me. Take a hard look at your movie. Have you pre-built an audience willing to rent and buy it? If the answer is yes, TVOD could be for you. Are you able to get your movie on the right AVOD platforms? Tubi TV or IMDb TV? AVOD might be for you. Is your movie good? Does it play to your audience? Can you market it well? Will your CER be above 50% on Amazon? Then SVOD there might be for you. Most likely, it'll be some combination of the three. I can't think of too many projects of my own that use only one. If you want to learn how to make more money with your indie movies, subscribe to my channel. I put out two new videos a week. If you got something out of this video, please hit the like button and consider sharing. And if you want to help me level up the quality and the frequency of these videos, please consider checking out my Patreon. But whatever you do, keep making movies.